curious about how a bird gets in here? Yeah, they don't see it, so they fly right into it. And first their head goes in, then they, no wait, first they grab the net with their feet, then their head goes through, then their wings go through. And it's quite tangled, but it doesn't harm them. And then we come in and figure out which side it flew into and delicately extract it from the net. If you find a species of bird that is somewhat rare or endangered using a particular habitat, then you want to promote and maintain and keep that habitat or enlarge it so you have more of that species. So this is a way of, of uh, making, uh, giving data to the conservancy that they wouldn't otherwise have so that they can manage their proper property properly. I think my balance just ran out of battery. What do you need? <laughs> so, there, he stopped now. What kind of a bird is this? The yellow bird, right? <laughs> <laughs> Bill, you should know. It's a promontory warbler. This is <laughs> correct. This is a promontory warbler, which is what this hiking trail here is called. I've opened the bands. The bands are split cylinders. I've opened the band. I've put the band on the bird's leg. The band is loose. It slides. It rotates. It does not pinch the tissue. Okay? It does not hurt the bird at all. Now, we're going to start measuring the bird. We measure its wing. We measure its wing, 70 millimeters. We measure its tail, 45 millimeters. We look at the bird to, to try and determine its sex. In this particular species, and only this species, the sex is determined by the number of white spots on the bird's tail. And this has one, two, three, four, five white spots on each side of the tail, which makes it a male, okay? The female has only three spots on each side of the tail. So we know it's a male. Now we're going to look at the bird's skull. And you're supposed to say, what do you mean, look at the bird's skull? When a bird, when a songbird, comes out of the nest, it has one layer of bone over its brain case. So, and when that's true, you can look right through the one layer and see pink, the pink covering of the brain. After the bird ages a year or so, is the pink in there? After the bird ages, uh, usually a year or 14 months, a second layer of bone grows underneath the first layer of bone and you cannot see pink anymore, you see white bone. So you know it's over a year old. Right now this bird is pink, which means it's an HY bird, a hatching year bird. It was hatched this summer. And that gets recorded. Now we're going to weigh the bird. Put them in this fancy tube and weigh them. 13.2 grams. Here's another protonitary warbler, and here you can see the five tail, white tail spots on each side very, very clearly. The other one wasn't so clear. Okay. He's, he's holding his tail apart just so you can take a picture. <laughs> We held about two percent of the Some birds bite. <laughs> okay, here we have a different bird. This is a summer tanager. Okay? He's posing for us. Yes, he is. 
then you're supposed to say, well, tanagers are supposed to be red. This bird is yellow. What does that mean? It means it's a female. Females are not red, they're yellow. Mm -hmm. You're not mean bird. Mm -hmm. You're about ready to eat somebody. This bird takes a larger band than the uh, pathonotaries. We have to measure the bird's tarsus to see whether it's going to take a 1A or a 1B. should measure her mouth because it keeps biting me. 89 <laughs> is, is the wing. It's a mean bird. It's a mean bird. We have to straighten her tail out so we can measure that. 71 is the tail. Now, <laughs> we're going to look at her and see if she's an adult or a young bird. First, I'm looking to see if she has a brood patch. Everyone know what a brood patch is? Birds when, <laughs> birds when they're nesting, the females in particular, shed the feathers on their belly so they can sit on a bird and transfer the heat to the egg so it can incubate. When nesting is finished, they grow the feathers back on the belly for the winter. Okay, here's a bird. It's got some blue on it. It's got spots. And blue wings and a blue tail. Look at all those spots. So, what kind of a bird is this? This is a flapping bird. This is a fledgling Eastern bluebird. This is a bluebird. The reason it's got spots is because this is its first feathers. The young bluebirds have spotty plumage. Adults do not have spots. So you know immediately it's it's a young bird. Is there a particular place you put it on the foot, or is it loose put enough? It on the tarsus, which is that piece of bone right there. Uh, and it's loose so it can move around a little bit? It's, it rotates, it slides, does not pinch the tissue at all, okay? Doesn't hurt the bird. bird doesn't, the bird doesn't know what's there. Well, that's probably not true, but it makes a good story. Wing cord is... 101 millimeters. What there is of the tail is 66 millimeters. We don't have to skull this bird because we know by, by its plumage that it's a young bird. Three, two, one.